I'm standing here with the Minister of Arts and Culture, ahead of the Cape Town International Jazz Festival. Now, Minister, you read an, an incredible pledge against racism just now. Tell me, tell me about the feelings and, and what, you, what was going through your mind as you read those points. Well, as I read uh, it, um, I was thinking about people who are suffering uh, around the world, especially uh, on intolerances, be they racism, xenophobia, uh, homophobia. Uh, so I was thinking about them, um, deeply so, uh, but at the same time I was also thinking about this power which we find ourselves in, the power of arts and culture to change the world. That this is the one of the very few tools at the disposal of humanity which is able to change the fortunes of humankind just like that. Uh, this is the only tool which you can use immediately and get a million people together just like that. Millions of people, billions of people. So we thought there is no other powerful, potent tool to use than this one to say to the world that this is we are in this together. Let's fight this together. Because whether we are in the Americas, whether we are in Europe, whether we are in Asia, in Africa, the scourge of the color line continues to ravage our societies. So we've got to use every platform to take a stand against it. Now we know you're very passionate about the arts and, and cultures and, and like I said, it was a very moving speech you gave. Are there any plans to, to promote arts and cultures more in education in South Africa to, to really embody all of these things that you're saying? In fact, uh, we have um, across the country a group of young artists doing art education in different schools uh, of South Africa. We want to, to expand because this is a testing case. We want to expand and you would know that uh, there are some limitations. Some of the schools do not teach culture and arts but those who do uh, we use our young artists to educate young people about the importance of art. Art for its sake you know, uh, not for commercial sake per se, but art for its own sake, for what it can do uh, to change the world, what it can do to ensure that positive uh, uh, things are happening amongst people and undermine some of the negative tendencies amongst uh, uh, humanity. So we, 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 we think that We'll see how it goes. That goes together with the uh, project of ensuring that in schools you have compulsory history education because history and uh, uh, arts and culture go, go together um, because in there you feed heritage uh, as well. So we think that uh, these are small steps, uh, but as you know, as Chinese would say, a journey of a thousand, uh, a thousand miles start with the, the very first step.